Hey, welcome back everyone. Thank you for taking time to go through how to schedule a Microsoft 365 exam. But this course is related to all Microsoft exam. So I'm going to walk you through the process of how you can find an exam and then how you can schedule and book for an exam. My name is Sushant and I'm your instructor for this MS 900 Microsoft 365 Fundamentals exam course. So first of all, you have to go to the examination page. So you can go to the examination page by going into docs.microsoft.com and type in your examination number. That will take you directly to the examination or certification page. Once you're in that page, make sure you select the right exam, select your appropriate country and click on schedule with peers and view. The next page, it will take you through your MCID profile. If you don't have a profile, this is the best time to set up one. You just need a Microsoft account, which is an Outlook or a Hotmail account is all you need to create your first profile. Make sure to provide the details accurately. Let's suppose you are going to use a government ID for verification. Make sure your name, which is there on your identity, matches the profile what you're going to give over here. On the next page, this is where you have multiple options. Do you want to sit at home or work? Or do you want to sit at a local test center? So if you are in a situation where you are not able to find appropriate test center close by, or you don't get a time where you can allocate to go and sit for an exam at a test center, make sure to select the second option, which is sit at home or work. If you are trying to sit at home or work, you need to make sure that you have to run a pre-check to make sure that the device what you're going to use for that exam is adequate to support the examination requirement. These are the three things you need to make sure that it is working properly before you sit at home or work. First, you need to have a working microphone. You need to have a decent internet speed. If you're wondering what's the internet speed, you can see it on the next window where I have mentioned what's the download and upload speed you need for this exam. And finally, you need to have a working webcam as well. Once you get all these three check boxes, when you are running this pre-check, then you are good to go. If you happen to have any one of these not verified properly, that means that you either have to use a different device, make sure you run that check again, or you have to go to an examination center to sit for that exam. After you complete the pre-check, click on next. This is where you have to read through the agreement and go to the next page. On this page, you will be able to find your testing details, the examination, what you have chose, what's the cost of that examination and the language option for that exam. If you are sitting at home or at a test center, this is the page where you are going to select the date and the time. So make sure to change the time zone to your local time zone before selecting the appropriate time. After you select the date and time, it takes you to the next page. Finally, this is where you have to review and confirm you are good to proceed to order for that examination. You have few other options as well. You would be able to purchase ebooks and other practice tests on this page. If you don't want, you can skip that through. This is a very important page. If you are trying to sit for the first time, this is where you can understand what's the rescheduling policy and what's the cancellation policy. If you would like to reschedule the exam for whatever reasons, how soon you have to do. And if you are trying to cancel the examination, is there any cancellation fee or not? So please make sure to read through this review examination page in detail and then accept the policies. So what do you have to know before proceeding for the exam? Make sure you have at least one valid ID. And that valid ID doesn't have to be an expired ID as well. Make sure it is a government issued personal ID. And the name on the registration on that ID must match the name on the Microsoft examination registration page as well. And make sure you have a valid ID with a photograph and a signature, which is a mandatory thing. If you had booked to take that exam on an examination center, Make sure you walk into the examination center at least 30 minutes prior so that you can complete the formalities and you're relaxed 
before sitting for their examination. But if you happen to have scheduled their exam to sit at home or work, make sure you log into the same page at least 15 minutes prior to their examination. And once you log into the dashboard, this is where you can click and see the previously scheduled online exam. Click on that link, that will take you through the examination process. So thank you so much for joining me today. You may be taking this training for validating your knowledge or trying to upgrade yourself or trying to land a new job. Certification is the best way to validate your skills. And I wish you a great learning experience and ongoing career success. Thank you so much. So without wasting any more time, let's go and learn about what are the cloud concepts of Microsoft 365 fundamentals in the next video. So I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.